Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight in and pull your angel answer card for the week. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians for the week. Oh, helpful people. I like this card, you know, because it sometimes means, I mean, you, help is at hand, but there could be somebody of influence this week who makes a difference in your life. Yeah, I always like that card for that reason. I always get that really nice energy with it. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify, go deeper into the message, you know, by now, Sagittarius, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Sagittarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, 19th to the 25th of April 2021. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Okay, message for Sagittarius. Thank you for the week. <clears throat> I'm using Classic Rider Weight and the Radiant Wise Spirit this week. High Priestess in the challenge position. Seven of Wands in the advice from Spirit and the near future outcome of the Sun. <laughs> Very nice energy. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Sagittarius, please. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. One more shuffle. Do you like the cards to be well shuffled? Okay. Message. Too many. Message for Sagittarius, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table for the week? Thank you. Still three cards there, honestly. Okay, so I have the Chariot. Page of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles here clarifies the Seven of Wands. And the Sun clarifies the Five of Wands. Bottom of the deck we have the Five of Swords. You know, Sagittarius, uh, there's a kind of feeling here that you are. Ju there's just a razor sharp focus, and I'm getting in this energy. It's to do with competing for something. Let's clarify what this victory is, which can be a card of winning at any cost. But it feels like there's a fierce, fierce competition going on here. What's this Five of Swords, please? Can we clarify the Five of Swords, please? Yeah, I, t I knew it. I knew it. The Knight of Pentacles. Um, there's a goal and it feels like, you know, sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can be to do with family, committed relationships. I'm not feeling it in this instance, you know. Um, the High Priestess in the... The High Priestess can just be... She's card, she's card of intuition. Um, something that you're intuitively led to focus on now align with um a soul path your soul energy your soul power it, it just feels something is the right thing to go for here and we have the chariot which is a victory but it's a victory over a challenging over challenge and obstacle and and turmoil you know it it is it is a a, a victory that has come from a difficult path 
And we have the Page of Swords, which is to do with news, information, hearing something, learning something. And I'm definitely getting this, this Ten of Pentacles, which is to do with a goal. Um, Ten of Pentacles is a card of luxury, money, material security, long-term financial security, uh, wealth, you know, that kind of energy. It just feels in this situation, Sagittarius, and what I'm feeling is there is a, I don't want to say a desperacy, but just this kind of absolute 110% drive to achieve to achieve some kind of goal. Now, it might well be so that you can protect you, your home, your family, bring stability and security and greater wealth and benefit into your life, into your home, into your family. There may well be a reason for you to do that because some of you might have been treading a difficult path. But there's a victory in sight, you know, there's definitely some kind of victory in sight that's coming your way. And that's what you're being told, though it's a challenge, so it doesn't feel like it's... It feels like it's still a challenge. It feels like it's something that you're going for. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of perseverance. Um, frustration, you know, uh, because you're not, you're not quite at that Ten of Pentacles yet. There's frustration. They've been putting all their hard work and effort into really bringing greater achievement, material success into their life. But it feels in this situation that there is more perseverance and more hard work needed. Um, the message is good things come to those that wait with the Seven of Pentacles, and it definitely feels in this energy. It definitely feels in this energy. There's a message from Spirit of just keep on going, persevere, be patient, stay focused. And the Seven of Wands can be about competition. Now, this person is getting head and shoulders above the competition in this, which is different than this, you know, where you're all on an even footing. So I, I definitely feel in this situation, Spirit is definitely saying that, yeah, keep going, keep persevering, because you're head and shoulders ab above that which is, is you're competing against or opposes you. So perseverance in both of those cards. Uh, this is put your heart and soul and energy into something. It feels quite... Um, it just feels for some of you, you're wanting to take action. And you know that chariot sometimes in the, in the challenge position it can be. Um, it's not always a clear path to victory. There's sometimes opposition in the path. So it kind of stands to reason that there is some competition here. And I'm definitely seeing it here as well. The, the, the five of wands, you know, people pitted against each other, competing against each other, um, going for something. This is a card of, of wanting one-upmanship, wanting to outdo somebody else, you know, wanting to shine more than somebody else, have their voice heard more than somebody else. It feels that kind of energy. It just feels like fierce competition on something. But, but Sagittarius, there is definitely an energy of being in it to win it because, you know, the Five of Swords is a card of victory, but it's, it's winning at any cost. And sometimes there is a necessary need to do that, you know? Um, in order to get a specific goal, in order to get, you know, the victory, it feels in this situation something, there's going to be winners and losers. And that's what the Five of Swords is saying. And it definitely feels for some of you, for you Sagittarius, that sun energy is good news, celebration, joy, happiness. It's a good card of abundance and material success. Uh, and it's over, and it feels like you're overcoming the challenge that you faced. You know, because the, the, the wall behind this child is overcoming the obstacle. So it feels like whatever obstacle was opposing you in that challenge position, it feels like your heart and soul going for something now. There are going to be winners and losers, but it feels like you are going to be victorious. You are receiving an offer, an opportunity. 
uh, definitely feels like some, you know, the, the Knight of Pentacles can be a card, a job offer, can be a business offer, a new business win, um, sales win, contract win, a client win, call it what you will. But it definitely feels in this energy, there's such fierce, I'm getting this fierce competition energy. The interesting energy is that there's somebody around who, who is of influence this week in your life. Whether you're making some important connection here this week, um, it feels in this energy, Sagittarius, someone's on your side. It could be divine energy being on your side. It could be somebody is on your side this week. Um, but it definitely feels like they're helping you get head and shoulders above that which opposes you. So I like the energy of, of this. It feels very beautiful. I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message for Sagittarius, please? Any other message for Sagittarius, please? I'm just getting this money energy. Yeah, you see? Oh, okay. It turned over. Yeah, there's one thing to go, one obstacle to go, one I to dot, one T to cross. And then it feels, for some of you, it, it just feels like it's been very tiring, very challenging. But there's definitely this fierce, fierce competition is what I'm getting. You just feel there's so many competitive cards here. It And it whether you've been challenged as on your own right or as a as a family or as a relationship this can be marriage committed relationships as well it feels that there's a desire to win um you want to win at something it feels like you're facing some kind of opposition but there is absolutely this innate desire to win and it definitely feels for some of you you're getting some kind of offer in the face of some pretty stiff competition i have to say wow don't see all those cards together regularly. Yeah, <laughs> new beginnings. It doesn't surprise me. We have the fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Interestingly enough, the page of swords can be about new ideas as well. Um, new perspectives. But it just feels like there is something new coming your way that you absolutely want to win on. You know, and that's what I'm getting this week. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time, Sagittarius.